doing guys welcome again to this channel and today we're going to talk about the midfielders of FIFA 22 to be honest I'm looking for these players to have good pace good passing and good shooting and I would love to have if they have four star skills and four or five stars in Wickford why because they are the magicians of your of your of your team so Remember, all these players are 21 years old and their potential is an estimation. So, let's go. The first player, I just want to let you know that he has a real face. He's 74. He plays in Aston Villa. And he can skill to the 84. And at the same time, he has four stars in skills. <clears throat> he's really, really good. He's going to be also at the same time really cheap because he's a bronze player. And as you can see, he's dribbling, he's passing and his pace is really good and to and to be honest his physics uh, physics is also good to be at just a 74 hmm, it's amazing later we have an, a player from Manchester United we're talking about Medfrey he's a 72 and he can scale to a 84 to be honest he has really good workplace uh, work uh, work works workplace work 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 states work I forgot how to say it Work rates, uh, he has really good work rates, as you can see he has high attacking and medium defending. To be honest, that are my favorite work rates for central attacking midfielders. Later we have a player from Ajax, Kudus. He's, a, he's from Ghana, he, he's a 77, he can scale to a 85. I just want to show you the pace, the shooting and the passing. He's a monster and at the same time he has four stars skills hmm. he's amazing just I uh, just want to I just want to warn you that his work rate is high high so maybe you need to fix that in game later we have Karabek from uh, Czech Republic he's a 71 and he can get to a 85 to be honest he's really good at pace he, the shooting the passing the dribbling and at the same time he's really really tall so this is something that is going to help you to win headers in the in the middle of the of the pitch Later we have Kolowski. Kolowski, he's at 80, uh, 68, and he can scale to 85. And ju I just want to show you the, the skills and the weak foot. He has four stars in both. He, he, to be honest, I, maybe I will sign him. He's really, he, his stats and those ski, uh, stars, they are good. Later we have a Belgian player. His name is Pierre de Womo. Hmm, a little bit uh, difficult for me. He's a 72 and he can skill to a 85. His pace, his dribbling, his passing and his physics is really good to be just a 62 player. Later we have uh, Brahim Diaz. I had the opportunity to watch a game of AC Milan versus Roma uh, a few days ago. And to be honest, uh, AC Milan won. Uh, but Brahim Diaz didn't play that much. But he's really good. He was good at Manchester City. Unfortunately, uh, he went to Real Madrid as a free agent, I believe, or yes, as a, almost a free agent, or maybe he paid, uh, Real Madrid paid something, a little, a small amount because his contract was going to end. And he's, this is the second season of Brahim Diaz in AC Milan. For me, he's doing amazing. Look at his weak foot, look at his skills. He's amazing. The only uh, downside is the physics, that he's a really weak player. But maybe you can work on that with him. Later we have Ezequiel Almada from Argentina. His pace is amazing. His uh, dribbling, his shooting, his passing. He has four stars, weak foot, four stars, skills. And he has the same height of Messi. So you can maybe this can you can play him as a, a, a future Messi you know because also his potential is 86 it's really high and maybe you can improve that and scale it a little bit more later on we have Traore from Sassuolo I'm really surprised that he doesn't have four stars skills maybe in the future maybe FIFA is going to add them but as you can see his stats are really good to be a 71 and he can scale to a 86 later we have the Portuguese Beira from Porto he he has a 72, uh, he is a 72 and he can skill to 86. Unfortunately, his skills are really low. He has two stars and for me, it's weird because he has two stars and his dribbling is 72. 
So it's like really weird. Uh, but if you like to play with players with low stars of skills, maybe you can play him. Later we have Carvalho from Fulham. He's a 74 and he can scale to an 86. It's amazing how much he can scale and at the same time his weak foot he has four stars weak foot. Later we have this a player that everyone was watching before he signed with Red Bull uh, Leipzig. We're talking about Sovos Lai. Maybe the pronunciation is not the best, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know this language. Uh, he's a 77, he can skip to 87. He has four stars skills, four stars weak foot. And look at those stats. They are amazing. They're amazing. Later we have to add wonder kid of United States of the Gringos. Yes, sir. We're talking about Reina. Look at his stats. Look at his skills. He has four star skills. Unfortunately, his weak foot is really low, only two stars. But if you just watch the stats, that is incredible, incredible for Reina. And to be honest, he's doing amazing in real life. Later, we have the German player Wurz from Bayern Leverkusen. It's incredible that how they sold uh, Kai Howard and now they just substitute uh, Kai Howard with words that he's an amazing player also. As you can see, he's a 78 and he can skip to a 90. Leader in first position, we're talking about the magician of England, the one that everyone believes that maybe England has opportunity with him. And we're talking about Phil Foden. He's an 84. He, he plays in Manchester City and he can scale to a 92. So guys, I hope that you like this video. Uh, please let me know if you want a different position, a different league or a different uh, t uh, country that we can talk about Wonder Kids. I hope that you like it and please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and see you on the next time.